Las Vegas, at the end of the day, is the best city in the world. In August, I believe, will mark my four years of living here in Vegas. First and foremost, Vegas is the, the answer to your problems. <laughs> if you're watching this and you're like, I wanna move to Vegas or I'm thinking about moving to Vegas, I truly don't believe and that obviously could be my limiting beliefs, sure, we'll attest some of it to that. But I truly, truly don't believe like I would have the life of my dreams, the life that I'm living now, if I did not live in Las Vegas. Let me, give me some time to back up that point. Let me explain that. So let me tell you the 10 reasons why you should move to Las Vegas, especially if you're living in California right now, and my experiences with each of them. The first thing I wanna bring up is for me, the young energy of the city is something I was really looking to go to. And actually the most recent uh, stats coming from the city of Las Vegas, the actual like Department of Housing and Urban Affairs or whatever, the um, city takes polls. This was in 2022, so it could be older now, but the median age was 32 years old. And to me, that's like exceptionally young. And as a young person who, you know, moved to Las Vegas to make it kind of my city, you know, my young adulthood city, that gives me so much encouragement and hope the statistic itself and then just living here the past four years now i see it everywhere i go and again this is not like an actual age thing it's just it's just so nice to be around the young energy of the city knowing that people are happy here like people are happy people are positive people in my perspective obviously i could be biased because this is like how i see the world but people are just so excited to do the things that a young person would be excited for, you know? And we're gonna get into that stuff right now, just like the social life. People here don't mind like taking life, you know, obviously seriously, but taking life one day at a time, you know, stopping to sit by the pool. And again, this is all my perspective, take it with a grain of salt. Um, you know, sitting by the pool for a little bit, you know, hanging out with friends, enjoying life a little bit. And I just love that, that part of Vegas so much. Affordability, as in groceries, things to do. Gas is, I, honestly, like, it's like, it's like what I would expect, like, gasoline for a vehicle to be at. Um, and then housing, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, whether your monthly payment needs to be at or below $2,000 or you can be, you know, somewhere closer to six, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, you, in my opinion, are going to get a pretty decent living situation here no matter what your price point is. And that's for a few reasons. The first is like Vegas is so young that not, a lot of our real estate is not old. So it's not like a city like LA or New York where you're paying a premium, but you're living in this like musty, like musty, dusty, crusty building that's falling apart. You are paying to live in like the next best metropolitan, met like utopia of the world in my opinion. And all of our buildings are pretty new, meaning they were like built in the 2000s or late 90s and newer. We have amazing air conditioning here, air conditioning systems. Like I, I think that overall, and again, I'm biased, but I honestly think overall, when it comes to groceries, gas, rent, home ownership, uh, even things like uh, my electricity bill, my water bill, all of those little things to me are pretty affordable and I honestly would say based on like my income as you know a single person household let's say just like statistically what am I I'm a single person household and I'm fully self-employed I really don't think that I would be able to live the life that I do if I was still living in California my third point of why you should move to Las Vegas especially in your 20s is the social life like let's be real this is fabulous las vegas nevada what's the ultimate you know ideal situation you want to be in and for me and for what i was looking for is a city where i can establish myself in my career you know afford a, an, a certain level of, of lifestyle and then lastly on that was just like have a really good social life and here in vegas 
across the board, whether you move to Green Valley and Henderson, whether you move to Summerlin, the Southwest Centennial, the East Side, across the board, I've literally heard every single person say on every single price point and every single background and job and demographics, you know, kids, no kids, blah, 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 that they are easily able to make friends. And that is amazing. That is amazing, and I love that Las Vegas and Henderson and North Las Vegas have such a sense of community in that way, that everyone feels welcome here, and it is a welcoming welcome, uh, uh, melting pot. Las Vegas, at the end of the day, is the best city in the world. The fourth reason you should move to Las Vegas, Nevada, is the ease of mobility and travel. It's really easy to get to Utah, Colorado, California, uh, Washington, um, uh, what's next to Arizona. So in addition to that, we do have an international airport here that has a really, 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 really good uh, international like destinations. Like we have one way flights to a lot of big major international cities and domestically uh, as well, we have multiple flights going to multiple cities like every single day. And I, I personally really like that. When, like when I was, at a point where I'm like, where do I want to live as a young adult? I need to be, ex like, I need to be in, in accessibility to an international airport, an efficient one at that. And then third, I like to sometimes take road trips. So I want to be, like, I wanted to be in a, in a state that I can, like, dip out for the weekend if I wanted to. So I think that's a really good, um, heavily weighted point that I am making to my argument of why you should move here. Oh, and then as far as mobility, just around town, from Henderson to Centennial Hills, that's probably like a solid 30 minutes, and that's crazy to think about. From one side of the city to the other, it's a strong 30 minutes, because it feels like an hour, because it's, you know, conceptually, it feels like you're crossing the country when you're doing that. But for me, like knowing that I'm 30 minutes or like less anywhere I need to be, I love. When I was living in California, pff, bruh, 45, an hour, hour 15, like, which is crazy that we just like, no, I don't even want to get into that. I have a strong point and you know I'm right that like being able to be 10 minutes away from the grocery store, not even five, six minutes away from everything that you need to be because every side of town, you can lock in on that side of town and not have to leave. But if you do want to go to a different side of town, so literally like a 15, 20, 30 minute drive. Like South Florida couldn't be, able, couldn't do that. LA would never, Chicago would never, New York would never. Vegas, 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 baby. <laughs> the fifth reason I think that you should move to Vegas is because of the quality of life. Let me just reel it back again onto me selfishly. So my life here in Vegas, since I moved here four years ago, I was 20 when I moved here, I'm turning, 23 now turning 24 in September I again with the social life thing again with the, like the affordability thing like when those boxes are checked and I'm not waking up every morning worrying like about those things or feeling like I am alone or even being in a city where the energy of the city is very 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 fast-paced such as New York I like, I know me just as a person, I value those things so that so much my quality of life and like my overall well being, and obviously that's not, not like a super measurable thing. And you could very well come to Vegas and be depressed, you know, that's a thing. But I, it, it's really hard to be not happy with life here. Vegas is magical to me. I love being in the desert. I love, I, I call this my desert paradise. I compare it to like, if I was living in Miami and I knew I had to wake up tomorrow and leave like an hour and a half before I had to get to wherever I need to go, and on top of that, my groceries are expensive, and on top of that, there's insane like traffic where I'm going and I have to pay for parking. No, just no. Like my quality of life here in Vegas is exactly what I want to be. This is just a video of me ranting for like 20 minutes straight. Move to Vegas, just move to Vegas, I'm telling you. Number six, now stick with me here. Stick with me here, again, there's not like hard evidence on the rest of these points, but my sixth point is you should move to Vegas because people are normal. 
And what I mean about that is like when I lived in California, even like walking down the street, everyone cares about like what you look like. Do you have Botox? Did you get your lips done? What are you wearing? Who are you seeing? Who do you work for? What is this? What is that? Like, ew, you know? People value people is what I've noticed. Like it's a genuine conversation meeting people. And you know what I love? You know what I freaking love that I found in other states that I've lived in that I don't find here? Cause I also lived on the East Coast for three years, if you don't know, that's why I keep comparing to like uh, New York. Um, but I lived in Washington DC for three years in the DMV, so. I love that in conversation here, if I'm meeting a new person, they are not going to immediately ask me, so what do you do? That is a game changer because in other big cities, especially LA, New York, in Miami, that's like, oh, what do you do? Or like, you know, who do you work for? You know, like, and I love that people in Vegas, sure, we might care about that, but like, that's not a conversation topic. And that literally makes me so happy. It goes back to quality of life. The third thing, or Secondly, at this point, if people are normal, the this is like something I don't even like care to touch on, honestly. But like the political uh, intensity of some states, some big states, uh, I would say seeps into daily life in these some of these other big states and has people just like mentally, um, mentally uh, distracted or like very, very like passionate about whatever they're passionate about in the political world you know here in vegas like i i honestly think that people just are so chill and normal that there is no judgment or at least not as heavy as judgment as i felt in living in california no matter like what side of the totem pole you are on furthermore on this point of you should move here because people are normal even like wait stuff will actually treat you how you want to be treated, which again, in other big cities I've been to, I, you know, sometimes they just treat you like crap for no reason. And it's like, damn, like, can a server, like give me good, you know, service, at whatever restaurant I'm at. And here in Vegas, it's a given. It, stuff just moves so efficiently. Even like the, um, even like the, if you're picking up food to go. Anyways, moving on to point number seven, the seventh reason you should move here to Las Vegas. I'm filming this in the year 2024. But golly, do we have so much anticipated growth coming to the city? So, I don't like this. Is just I, I can this part of the video can be like an hour long. We have so many professional sports teams. We have so many projects, like uh, I would say, um, urban projects is what I would categorize them as coming to Vegas, such as the spaceport, uh, such as the Bright Line, the train that's gonna be built in the next couple decades from here down to the Los Angeles area. We have so much infrastructure coming to town. And like when you hear all of these things or when you see all of these things, I want you to just, to just think like, wow, that means the Vegas economy is gonna be that much stronger. There's gonna be that many more jobs and there's gonna be that much more opportunity to be had because that's what it all comes down to. And I personally, like I honestly, there was a moment there when I was like, oof, before I like really, really like sink into the Vegas life, should I move somewhere else or is this going to be it? And I personally decided like I'm locked in. Like I'm not leaving Vegas until I put at least 10 years into the city. So I have like six, seven more years to go. But I'm so excited to see how much the city further grows. And there's so many articles and, and, and evidences to this online. Just do a quick go, like search like past the surface level and you'll see why I ha hold the belief what, that Las Vegas is going to be like the next metropolitan metropolitan area of like the country that's gonna be the it uh, the eighth point that i have as to why you should move to las vegas is because of the weather it's really hard to be depressed here in vegas the sun is shining today it's absolutely beautiful yeah on paper it's like 95 or 98 but it's it's truly not too bad i love the weather here it makes me so happy to be able to walk outside even if i'm just walking to my vehicle to just like get hugged by the sun and honestly as someone who like could get seasonal depression and, and stuff like that you know every, everyone gets you know faces challenge sometimes it's really it's really 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 nice to be in this um environment rather than perhaps like when i live on the east coast it was just like muggy outside a lot of the days 
we're raining. Another reason you should move to Las Vegas is because of the no state income tax. So if you're not aware, Las Vegas is one of the few states, um, there's less than 10 in the country that offer it's their, like their residents uh, no tax on their income on the state level. So we are still taxed federally, so don't think this is just like a tax-free free-for-all over here. No, we're not, we're not that great. We're not that efficient just yet, just yet. <laughs> but on the state level, like the state of Nevada, they're not going to be taking any extra money out of your paycheck. Now listen, coming from California, where they take like a quarter of your paycheck, ooh, it literally, again, I really don't think that I would be able to afford my lifestyle as a single person household at my age if I were in California. Because I, I just like wouldn't make as much putting in the same amount of hours into my work if it comes down to it. And I have done the math on like the tax level. You don't get taxed here and that is amazing. And point number 10 as to why you should move to Las Vegas, Nevada, especially from California, is because the city of Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, and Henderson are clean and they're safe. Obviously, there's going to be parts of all of these areas that are not clean and not safe and the media will you know put out articles of this person or that person got shot or got hit or whatever but overall okay let's just talk overall we are a very safe area to live and we are very clean and i personally hate when things are dirty like going to new york that's the biggest reason i'm not moving to new york city it's because it's dirty Ugh, like what new york is dirty dc could be dirty chicago could be dirty like miami actually could be dirty it's not like like even like, and when I'm saying like it's dirty, I'm literally talking about like the streets and like the park benches and the street fronts and the freeways. LA, uh. thank you so much for watching. There will be a new video on Wednesday. And again, one more time, my name is Christina Alexa. I am a real estate agent here in Las Vegas, Nevada and Henderson. And if you'd like to work with me, Set, submit the form that is in the description, okay? That is the best way to reach me. I have a system behind it and I'm going to be able to contact you within 24 hours once you fill that form out and help you on your relocation journey. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. New video Wednesday and Friday and Monday and Wednesday and Friday and Monday and Wednesday and Friday and goodbye. <laughs>